family of the victim, William Apps, also in court asking for them to stay behind bars. Tonight, our Corey Davis tells us how a Buford school is remembering Apps and how this isn't the first time his family has dealt with tragedy. I hope they pay for it. Um, you know, it's such a senseless act to, to such a good guy with such a bright future. Bill Dalton is among friends and teachers at Buford Academy mourning the loss of 25-year-old William Apps. He was at Buford Academy from first grade until he graduated. The school's alumni Facebook page now has a photo album dedicated to the former student. Apps' death is a blow to the community, but more so to his family. His father died when he was in high school. It's like a, an awful, awful lot of tragedy to happen to one family. Dalton was one of Apps' JV soccer coaches and AP history teacher. He still uses an essay written by Apps in the 10th grade as an example to his students every year. Now Dalton says the essay will be a way for him to remember his former student. A lot of the kids he went to school with still are back in town after college, and uh, and so it's you know it was a it was a hard day for us in Beaufort. Charleston County deputies say Apps was shot in the head Thursday after meeting up with Isaac Williams and Jaquan Scott to sell his truck. The ad is still posted on Craigslist. The more I found out about it, the more. I, I rate I got it how incredibly stupid and pointless uh, it was. Yeah, he was just selling his truck and I, 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 it just seems completely idiotic. Dalton says Apps left a big impression on those he knew and loved and won't be forgotten. We're all going to miss him a lot. Deputies say Apps' body was found yesterday in the woods near McGraw Darby Boulevard in Mount Pleasant. They say Jaquan Scott led them to the location after he was arrested. Back to you. All right, Corey, thank you very much. According to the affidavit, Apps was held at a home on Mathis Ferry Road and also driven around at gunpoint before he was shot in the truck while being driven over the Ravenel Bridge.